with the new specification for the science exams comes new style of questions and those six mark questions might actually not be six mark questions anymore they might be five mark or seven marks or eight mark questions in the exam you can expect definitely one maybe even two long answer questions in the paper and these questions are going to form a significant chunk of your marks um, they are not the same as the questions in the old style paper they are marked and this is an evil word holistically oh i know it is truly truly evil that means the examiner will read your answer over decide whether it's a low answer a medium answer or a high answer and then decide how many marks it gets based on exactly what you've written it is nasty because it means you can miss out one or two words and take a nearly perfect answer and knock it down to getting no marks i've done some videos examples of this and i'll put them all in this playlist so you can see exactly what I'm talking about but because I know these questions are really really hard to answer um, and there's not a lot of practice out there for you I wrote you a whole load of practice questions 75 practice questions in fact what I've done is written the question and then I've done what I would expect you to do in the exam so I've highlighted the key words for you then I've taken you through how to answer the question so that you're going to be picking up all the marks now I know this is just a practice but the more and more you practice this skill because this is a skill the better you'll get at it and the more likely you are to do it in an exam for example this question here is load of waffly 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 and there's the actual question that little bit there is the bit that they're actually asking you to do but unless someone's told you that all of this is irrelevant waffly bish and that that is the question and then the exam should be highlighting the question it's really hard for you to know that and then i've taken you through how to answer the question so there's a little table for planning um this is an evaluate question so you have to give good things bad things your opinion and your reasoning why for some of the questions i've given you like a sentence and structure so you can go through and make and practice a perfect answer and for some of the questions i've given you little tables to fill in obviously you can't fill in here because you have to write really really small um but little tables to fill in to help you with your planning and there's absolutely no reason why you can't write your answer in a table as long as you're using good English within the table and then at the back there is of course the mark scheme taking you through all of the scientific points that you need to answer the question um, so you can go and download this from my website or you can get Amazon to print it off for you this is just a sample copy that's why it has this not for resale over the front but this is what it looks like it is such a pain formatting books at Amazon oh my lord um i asked you what you wanted and you said you didn't want space in the book you just wanted a short book so there are 75 questions in here some of them are like three questions to a page some of them are really big questions so there's only one question to a page um 25 biology 25 chemistry 25 physics if you practice these you're going to be getting so much subject knowledge in there because if you practice short questions one mark questions that's great but you have to practice loads and loads and loads of them to get a load of subject knowledge whereas within one or six mark question you can cover lots and lots of subject knowledge as well as covering the skills to practice it so there you go i wrote you another book ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.